A new industrial revolution is taking place, not on land, but deep beneath the surface of the ocean. To unlock this immense potential, we need tools that ignite imagination, drive innovation, and shape the path to a smarter and more connected future. The first dive as a submarine pilot, I got lost. And I was really frustrated by not having a clear map of where I was diving in somewhere new. The ocean is exciting. It's thrilling, yet terrifying. Humans dance at this edge where light diminishes and wonders begin, but often the answer just out of reach. So in the hunt for technology, it led me down this path of launching autonomous spacecraft. Got to fly autonomous aircraft, integrating and operating critical technologies at the cutting edge. The idea started 20 years ago when I was building and diving human-occupied submersibles. Today, we collect high-resolution seafloor data with fleet-scale autonomous underwater vehicles, goal-based intelligent mission optimization and fleet management, and data optimization and automation to deliver critical insights at an order of magnitude lower cost. We still don't have clarity over 70% of the planet, and only a few percent has been explored meaningfully. So to map the oceans rapidly at scale, we need to solve a very specific set of challenges unique to this underwater world. When you collect data from the sea surface, a lot of times with traditional EUV solutions, you might not know if your data quality is acceptable until it gets back on the boat and you've gone back to land. And by then it could be too late to make sure that you got everything that your client needs. One of the things I really love about working at Bedrock is the ways that we take these challenges and turn them into opportunities to push tech forward. We actually on board the EV have built tooling to do what a traditional watch stander on the boat would do. Instead of having a person sit on board, the AUV actually does it itself. By getting below most of the water column, you're removing most of the sources of noise that traditional survey vessels have to deal with. And as a result, better data quality. And one of the big challenges in seafloor data is actually putting those pieces together into a cohesive data package that works for the client, is technically correct, and ideally is beautiful. With our data, it's much easier to put all those together into one single package and tease out actionable insights immediately upon recovery of the AUV because it's all tied together in this co-located package. A vehicle's experience on the surface is just like that of a swimmer's. If you're in rough seas, you're being tossed around, it's hard to stay in the same place. That's a real problem when we're trying to collect ocean data, especially if the seafloor might be really far away. Once we're below the surface, things are smooth, things are quiet. That means we can collect higher quality data than you might be able to collect on the surface because we aren't subject to the same heave, roll, and other movements that you see from surface waves. From planning surveys, to monitoring the vehicle underwater, to delivering the final data to the customer, everything happens in one place. And this lets us eliminate data silos, communication delays, and enables faster data delivery. Once the survey is completed, the data is uploaded to the cloud and processed by our data pipelines. These automated pipelines transform raw files into data products that can actually be visualized on a map. They're also designed to handle a lot of data quickly, even when we're talking about an entire fleet of AUVs. So customers get results quickly and without bottlenecks. At Bedrock, our vision is simple. It's to help people make better decisions about how we interact with the ocean. We're building a platform that collects ocean data in a faster and more scalable way. So industry, science, and conservation efforts can access the insights they need. Our goal is to create a digital twin of the ocean, starting with the seafloor, so we can better protect, develop, and understand our planet's most vital ecosystem. After four years of research and development, we finally launched our second generation commercial vehicle. And since then, we've been doing site surveys for oil and gas, offshore wind, and environmental use cases. I'm most excited about the impacts our technology can make for climate for reduced environmental impacts with now things we can measure. The accountability that we can hold with so much more data that we've never had before. In an environment that we still know so little, 
We get to go where no one else has gone. Ocean is Earth's last frontier. We can literally go right now with Bedrock.